Hello everyone, I'm Valerie and today we are going to create this super cool rotating carousels using the auto orientation function in After Effects and we are going to do it while dealing with the 3D space in After Effects and right now I want to show you where I get the inspiration for this animation so I actually saw it in one of my friends on Instagram here in one of his uh, posts how we present his uh, services in this very cool way which you can see this button carousel like rotating and uh, each carousel look at the camera every time yeah and uh, i just want to mention that to create these animations we're going to use some advanced techniques so if you are uh, new to after effects i want to invite you to check out my online courses at design and motion school in which you will learn after effects step by step in the efficient way possible and you will get the access uh, to my private community in which uh, we already passed uh, 1000 members and for this i'm running a challenge in which a student can win a nice prize and i'm doing this because i want to encourage my students to get experience in after effects so if you are interested make sure to check out the link in the description and yeah let's start with the tutorial <laughs> Alright, so first let's create a new composition, we can call it master comp and let's make it a landscape which is a full HD, 30 frames per second, 20 seconds duration and the black uh, background, press ok and uh, first we are going to create uh, the button carousels and for this we are going to use a very cool already made preset in after effects which you can find here under shapes elements yeah and the 2d text box uh, this box is very cool because it's going to resize automatically according to our text so let's uh, for example write some text after effects and uh, just make sure the text uh, is uh, centered uh, to the center and uh, let's align it uh, to the center of the composition and now we need to tell this preset to look at this layer and now we're going to look at our text layer and we can scale this button a little bit all right and we can round uh, its uh, corners let's set it i don't know 95 and let's go back to the rectangle tool so we can see the colors and let's color it in uh, some uh, blue color without a stroke for this example uh, yeah and uh, right now if i will check if i will change this text let's say i will check change it to learn after effects it's going to uh, you know the button will resize automatically according to the text which is very very cool yeah so now uh, let's move on and pre-compose this layer and call it comp1 make sure both are selected and press ok now let's enter this pre-comp and scale it uh, down a bit because it's too big right now so press ctrl k or command k make sure preview is checked and let's scale it down uh, don't scale it uh, too much in the width because maybe you will add a, a, a bit longer text and uh, for the height we can set it to 300 i think yeah it's cool and press ok now let's go back to our uh, master comp and go back to our project path and now let's press ctrl d to duplicate this pre comp from the project panel uh, four times and we want to duplicate it from the project panel and not from the layer panel because we want to make changes in the new precomps. So now we can select the new precomps and double click to open them up. And now uh, let's just change the colors of the buttons so we can see uh, 
so we can have a difference between the uh, comps so yeah let's make it real quick uh, yeah I think it's okay great and now let's go back to our master comp and bring this new comps to the master comp we can exit them close them from here yeah and now we need to convert these layers to a 3d layers if you can see it you can press here and now let's click here to convert them to a 3d layers make sure uh, you at the classic 3d renderer all right and now uh, we need to create a new camera all right so right click new and camera make sure you're creating a one node camera uh, with the 35 millimeters and let's press ok great and now we need to uh, place these layers in the 3d space so let's work with uh, two views let's select this view and uh, set it to top right like this and now let's select all the layers and press p and the secret here uh, so if they work properly you need to move the layers at the precise distance i show you what i mean so let's say we want the first pre-comp uh, to be let's say here all right so let's you can see it here we we just moved it uh, to the closer to the camera uh, so don't leave it like this uh, it's better to set it so let's say uh, minus 250 all right because now we need to move the second layer uh, you know to the back and so it will be the same distance we can write here and or set this value to 250 right? exactly like this one and this way we can uh, maintain the same uh, distance all right so the same goes for the layers that need to be in the upper area so right now oops not this one so right now let's if you want to uh, bring this layer down we need to bring it down to the with the same distance like this one but in the in this axis we don't see the these values so let's press Ctrl Z and just use this as a calculator. If we move this layer uh, for 20, uh, 200, uh, 250 pixels, so we can uh, go left and uh, you know press the plus key and uh, right to 150. And now it's going to move 250 pixels down. The same for this layer but right now we don't need to add uh, 250 pixels we need to press minus 250 because we want it to be at the upper part which is the opposite of this one all right so now if we, we select this uh, preview and see it from the custom view we will see that it look like this right we can bring it back to top and let's go back to work with uh, one view and now we can close these layers right and we can uh, to rotate them all we can use a null object so let's right click and create a new null object and now let's make sure this null object is aligned to the center and we can zoom in a bit select the anchor point tool and let's place the anchor point tool at the center while holding the control or the command key so it will snap to the center like this now let's go back to the selection tool and uh, convert this layer to a 3d layer also we can uh, place it here and now we need to select all the button layers and uh, parent them to this null layer and now when we press r to see the rotation properties of the null and rotate the layers they're all going to rotate together but as you can see they're rotating and uh, we we don't see the what is written in the buttons 
and when he get to the you know 180 degrees we see this upside down so for this case we need to use the auto orientation function which is the main topic of this tutorial so to do it we can select all these layers right click go to transform and uh, go down to auto orient and select orient towards camera which means these layers always now going to look at the camera okay and we don't need to adjust each layer rotation according to the null rotation which is very very cool and we always can read what uh, is written in the buttons all right so now let's create an animation for this make sure you in the beginning of the timeline and set the first keyframe for the x axis now let's move to second uh, number four and make it one rotation and let's press n to bring the workflow area to the to the second and let's see how it looks great it looks awesome and now to make it look even better we can uh, open the camera options and enable the depth of field and right now let's set it to the aperture to uh, 100 and uh, we can go back to work with two views and here is the focus uh, distance and we need to set this focus line to the first uh, button to the first comp which we will see here to see it in the focus in focus so let's uh, select the focus distance and move it towards the first layer let's place it here exactly at this layer so now uh, this layer will going to be in focus and the other one no so to increase this effect we can increase the aperture all right let's set it to 400 400 yeah and yeah and now where when the camera when the button is going to rotate the closest one going to be in focus and the other no so it looks very very cool yeah so right now you can take this idea and create a uh, different other options for your video so let's make an example with the characters as i showed you uh, earlier so first i'm going to use uh, some characters that i uh, downloaded from a uh, free pick all right and I'm going to bring this to my project. Of course, I'm going to select composition and layer size. Yeah, and now to make it uh, much quicker, I can create a new master comp. So I duplicate this uh, pre comp with Ctrl or Command D. Now I'll enter this. And now I want to replace all these pre comps that I'm seeing right here. And to do it, I'm going to duplicate all these all this pre comps. So I'll press Ctrl D. And now I will tag them in other color. So I'll uh, know that this is my new pre comps. Now I can enter this pre comp. And I will change the size of this pre comp to. 300 on 300 like this and I'm going to delete what I see here the same goes on this pre-comp all right and this one let's make it real quick and now I'm going to open my layers and bring the characters and I can scale them up like this and uh, so I can see them in the sharp in the good quality i'll uh, activate the collapse function yeah and let's do it for the other precomps great so now all we have to do is we need to replace the precomps we have here of course in the new precomp in the new master comp with the new ones so for this we can hold down we can select the first precomp hold down the alt or, or the option key on mac and drag the new precomp on this one 
great now let's do the same for this one this one and this one great so right now this rotates in this direction which is okay but if you don't want it to rotate in this direction this is not a problem at all all you have to do is uh, let's say let's select the null object and you know delete the keyframes of the x rotation we need to place uh, this uh, precoms across the 3d space as well so let's work with the two view and let's say this precomp you know the the last one and the first one here it's okay the position it's okay so we have only deal with these ones because we want them here and here and to do it in the most efficient and the most uh, precise way we need to set them to zero so they will be oh sorry to 50 as at the beginning 50 here as well and now we need to move these layers you, you remember uh, minus 250 like this and this one we need to add plus 250 like this and now we can close these layers and press R and rotate this carousel in, in the Y uh, axis so I will create this animation one rotation yeah and with this we finished this tutorial and yeah and just remember that you can also scale up all these layers at once with the null object but make sure to according to your the new position of this layer because of the scaling you need to adjust the focus distance of the uh, camera all right so right now this one uh, this layer stays here you see the first layer is at this uh, area so we need to open up the camera options and move the focus distance to the to this area great yeah and this is looks very nice So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and I see you in the next one.